quick against Port Adelaide. Mitchell to full forward. Under pressure, but controlling it well. Pierce Hanley taken back to that last line. He was either holding a ball or leg. And it was holding the ball. See, they can put the squeeze on the Hawks and not let them out. They're trying to get a ring around them here with pressure. And is there a way out? Gibson paddling towards the line. He's held up. They're all over him. Fosking in there for the ball. And it's holding the ball. He's enjoyed playing against Hawthorne over the years. You need a nice early strike. Ablett gives it plenty. It's very, very close. It's delightful. Throw in to take place. Forward pocket. Henderson had a little bit more time than perhaps he should have to get sorted. And didn't he capitalise? Delayed advantage and dubious advantage call. Lonigan, he's a powerful midfielder. And he gets them inside 50, just to Lemons, who turns quickly and drives long again for either Barlow. Kicks it to full forward. Oh, Sicily was trying to launch. Under pressure, Lonigan, serious heat. And the Hawthorne fans think that should have been rewarded. All the umpire did was just wave his arms and say, play on. Cousins, rough head. Has he got time? He had time, and he probably had space too to get a better alignment of goal. It's out on the fall. I agree with the Hawthorne fans. Yeah, I agree with the boost because uh, Lonigan had the, could have made the decision to release the ball. He opted not to. Piopolo gets it from uh, Henderson, gets it from O'Brien to full forward. He's gone to ground rough head. They're screaming. They're screeching for a free. Sicily gets the handball, and finally Mitchell gets it onto the boot. And at last, the Hawks get the goal. To the bitter end there and as a result Isaac Smith was trying to get something started and Henderson he can cover the territory he's scorching the MCG turf as he runs to 50 to the top of the square Stewart Clemens, he's got what he wanted he's got Lynch to come at the ball basically one on one and that's exactly what would annoy Alistair Clarkson right now this is a big kick this is a really big kick in the season for Gold Coast Big kick in the season, says Matthew Pavlich. What's going through the mind of their gun forward, Tom Lynch? He's kept it simple and driven it straight through the middle to make a statement. Yes, they're willing to flick the ball around and be a high handball team, but use the composed and careful pos possession when they need to. And they have escaped, got into some open country. And just some good, clean ball use. It's Produced an opportunity, Lonigan to wit, and then the kick goes inside from Rosa, and look at that, goes all the way, comes back the other way for the Hawks. Good pressure from Lonigan, he goes and wins it, and then Whitecross gets involved. Barlow, a bit of good competitive, combative stuff in the middle of the MCG. Opportunity for Burton, and they can stretch them out now. Sicily with a bounce, running the members' side of the MCG, we've seen that before. Gunston comes up at the ball and takes the mark, but gets out for Hall, and he can sum it all up and kick the full forward. Martin outsized with Burton, but he's got some skill. He's hoping for the ball to work its way through, and it does from Jack Martin. Oh, but he's the extra defender in the goal square. He's just to the right of uh, our vision there. Here's a golden opportunity for Isaac Smith, and he makes that one count. Langford eventually got the ball under his command. Shields for Mitchell, another give needed. Langford kept on coming. Gunston's darted back to goal. The ball's going to drop a bit shorter than that. He had his eyes on it all the way there. Now the Suns need to lift. Swallow. Hall tried to argue. Don't argue, but he begged to differ. Got the tackle on. And Arbic has earned a free. And they're the little things that can grow quickly. O'Brien! They're under siege here, the Gold Coast Suns. Tim O'Brien for his second goal of the term to reduce the margin to under 20 points and he's done it with authority. Now the Hawks are coming. Hartung has the Hawks surging with a bounce and he's put it out in the man who's hottest of all at the moment. O'Brien didn't take the mark, got it in the pocket. Oh, got it in for Ruffhead and Stewart, one more handball will do it. Gunston drives it through. The Hawks are still coming at the G. Up over 200, I would have thought. Michael Melano's massage is on his neck the way this is going. It is Langford, and he kept a cool hand, put it into the pocket. And Jack Gunston, Jack Gunston, a couple of deep breaths, out to make the goals more attainable. You knew he'd kick it! 
Hall can break through in the middle. Has a bounce if you don't mind. And then kicks it deep, probing ball. Ainsworth. Oh, got it! <laughs> oh, the young man, the high draft pick from last year's draft, has taken the mark in the pocket. What a beauty! Pick four in the draft last year. Massive kick. Oh, oh he's going to get 50. Oh, oh. wow. You know, what a call. It's Vince Brand. Vince Brand. Brand. Oh, I've done twice. Comes in and delivers, you would think, the Gold Coast Suns' most critical goal so far. This is why the umpire wanted them all outside of that line. Here is Caden Brand clearly in front of him. Is the man that made the indiscretion for that kick on goal where Ainsworth got the replay. Look at that, he's clearly a metre in front of where the umpire wants him. Bundles it out, Lonigan, Hanley, the running power of the Suns. Martin, one more give needed here. He went to Ablett Matera, he brushed off Howe, and he's bouncing his way through the middle. Their running prowess on display, beautifully kicked. And the man that kicked the big goal last week, Peter Wright, May get the chance again here at the home of football. Wasn't to be, and at the other, Peter Wright, as he did last week, nails the goal.